just the other day we had talked about the situation that was going on Pikimi where she had announced her graduation that had many people jumping to the conclusion that it was all due to the harassment she received when trying to play Hogwarts Legacy. In that same video I mentioned that Pipkin Pippa made a tweet stating quote I hate this franchise but I hate people on Twitter more. Announcing that she would be playing the game just to spite the people on Twitter that harassed Pikimi and anyone else wanting to play the game. Literally no other reason than that. But this tweet ended up blowing up and reaching a massive amount of people that started making outrageous claims of Pippa being a transphobe saying quote people on Twitter we all know you're holding back the urge to use a slur so just say it. Others saying quote it's really funny how there's a whole genre of pick me VTubers who would rather cater to people who still live in their mother's basements who would also sexually harass them 24 7 if it weren't for the 2D model because they don't want to be like the other girls LMAO. Now this tweet has over 2,000 quote tweets of pretty much the same thing being said people claiming that Pippa is transphobic and attacking her for playing the game. The whole situation got so big that it got on the radars of pretty big streamers such as Hasanabi who retweeted a post that says quote there's an industrial complex of VTubers forming that are grifting off Hogwarts legacy and the quote harassment they're getting for it coming from incel Nazis pretending to be trans LMAO. The rest of this Twitter thread goes on to say that there's more anti-trans harassment in these comments section than there has been anyone that plays Hogwarts legacy and then goes on to not even accuse just states that Pippa is anti-semitic because of these clips here. And while overall for the last like three or four days Twitter has been on fire with attacking Pippa and others trying to use Pippa as a way to justify being transphobic and harass others. With all of that, Pippa has now made a tweet saying, quote, notice, it's nice to meet you all. It's been a hectic past few days and I'm not sure how to word this properly. While I do appreciate all the kind messages, I don't appreciate being used as an excuse to attack other people. Let's not shit fling and attack other people's identities. If I see it, I'll be blocking and banning you from my community like I do the rest of the trolls and bullies. Do not try to misinterpret my words and use me as a banner to attack other people. This tweet has ended up amassing over 1 million views at the time of this recording and has had people supporting Pippa, calling her based and all around happy that she's being supportive. However, as Twitter always does, there's people still upset with her and not believing that she's not transphobic and making tweets saying, quote, appeals to a transphobic audience, sees transphobes show up in her streams. How could this happen? Others saying, quote, you can backpedal anything easily and consequence free and get social credit for it as long as you're an anime girl. I can easily read more of these tweets and make like an hour long video, but there's really no reason to do that. The people that know Pippa and knows she isn't some transphobe will respect her message to her community. And the mob of haters on Twitter will do what they always do and just throw hate at her for playing the game to specifically piss off harassers. I'm still not really sure how anyone can misinterpret her playing the game because she hates Twitter and harassers as anything but that. But that's what Twitter is good at. Anyway, I really hope Pippa is doing well. She recently celebrated her birthday, so happy belated birthday to her. But let's go ahead and move on to another VTuber playing Hogwarts Legacy that I thought would meet the same fate as all of the others, that being Whole Alive's Kobo Kanaru. She announced playing the game and for the most part has received like no hate aside from a few outliers and overall her fan base has shown just how loyal they are and ready they are to fight against anyone that dares to attack Kobo for having fun. She has an amazing audience as always and I'm really glad that she's been able to have fun with the game. But moving on over to some more Holo Live news, we've had the rest of Holo Myth receiving their 3D models and having a collab together using them. If you missed it, you should certainly go check it out and have a blast with the VOD. The link for that will be down below if you want to do so, but for now let's go ahead and take a look over at Nichi Sanji English's Pomo Rain Puff. She announced that on the 10th she will be showcasing a brand new outfit. Really looking forward to how it turns out, so make sure to mark your calendars for that day if you are as well. But now moving back over to the internet being shitty as always, we had Utano Pandora tweeting out quote, this is supposed to be a happy day, but here we are. Do not under any circumstances send me emails labeled under the guise of quote business in order to tell me to not collab with someone. If someone doesn't want to collab with me or is sick, they will say. Continuing on with quote, I get it, you're concerned for your Oshi's health, but stopping them from making friends saying nobody will come to their collab stream and pestering your Oshi's friend is not going to do it. And now a few days later, she has also said quote, I've got more emails calling me nasty things for enjoying my friend's stream. I don't know who you are as you are using multiple emails, but please stop. I am just watching my friends. I am just enjoying my friend's streams and having fun. If my presence bothers you, block me. So this just seems like people being unhappy with her having friends and hanging out with someone, which is really, really dumb to do. Please never do something like this. But let's move over to the VTuber agency next stage who just yesterday held their concert with the Codex Talents. They said, quote, we're sorry the concert was a bit of a mess. We had a colossal amount of uncontrollable technical failures right before the stream. We ended up live producing the whole show out of a bathroom and a hallway. Please look forward to our Unscuffed Concert 2.0 in the future. And honestly, despite any technical difficulties they may have faced, I think the talents and the entire team killed it out there. The VOD is still up on YouTube, so if you missed it, go check that out. And as always, have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.